Mr. Chinedu, can you see this trend line now? Yes. So it's very easy to draw. Once you know what you are looking for, it's just to connect your lower high, especially when you are looking for it, for the downward trend. Okay? And you can see all this connecting. And when it finally broke it here, what happened? It did a retest to this lower high, this little lower high here. Did a retest there and retested the trend line before going out to give you impulse, correction, continuation, correction. Okay? And before dropping. And if you look here, you also get another set of trend lines. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then I also discussed channel that day. That channel. So that is when you are able to connect two, two to three lower lows. You are able to connect two to three lower lows. Then you've got in a channel. So what it means is that price is moving between the channel. So you sell, you buy, you sell, you buy, you sell, you know, every time price gets here, you sell. Somebody, uh, your background is, Mr. Chine, do your background is disturbing. When you are not talking, please kindly just mute yourself. Okay. Are we online? Yes, we are here. Okay. So that's for channel, if you want to add the channels to it. Is there any further questions before I move straight to today's topic? If you don't ask questions, I'm going to ask everyone. I, I yes, there's a question. I okay. have a question. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, you yeah. said you gonna you said uh earlier on you're gonna show us how our trades went wrong for today. That is my question. I, I would like to know how where uh, it went wrong. Okay, yeah. I I will mm. show us that once I've uh we are, are done with today's topic. Okay, yeah. Okay, my question has to do with the trade line, eh? Okay. Um, please, I don't know if we could go back to the previous one you showed us so that I can show you the example. This one? Um, uh, I think, yes, uh-huh, thank you. So, um, a situation like this, so it means um, following this trend line, we are on a downtrend, right? Yes. So it's until this trend line is broken any yeah. buy here the pullback buy or a trap is that is, is that what it means yes so it's better it, uh, one focuses mainly on more sell opportunities than buy maybe buy should be scalping or not staying too long in case i'm just asking in case yes now look at this scenario once you are able to get a trend line every time let me let me say this every time you get a trend line whether upward trend or downward trend, always, always try to figure out if you can cite a channel. That channel will help you to determine when to, to scalp your buy on a downward trend. Okay, sir. Now, let's say here yeah, now you get a channel. So if you are selling, 
you are selling from here. And anytime you are selling, when you get when we get to the topic, we will we'll discuss it. Because what we will be discussing, how you will know if a resistance will be broken and how you will know if a support or resistance will be rejected, broken or rejected for both resistance or support. And we'll discuss that when we're talking about the next topic, which is uh, flag pattern, because we will be getting entry. We'll be looking for entry points, okay? And that is where your price action is needed. And this is an advanced class. I'm expecting everybody to know what price actions are all about. If you don't know it, we are not going to go in deep to it. We will we'll just pick some of the essential, uh, some of the essential price actions that usually, usually appear in the market that usually appear in the market that you look out for in the market. And especially at the resistance level or at the support level or at the trend line level. So we'll look into them and we'll consider them. We'll look into the live chart areas where they played out, okay? So, so that when you see it, anytime you see it play out, just pick your trade, take it. And this price action will help so much in apply your strategy, whichever strategy you are using or you have. Okay. All right, now, if you are selling from here, based on price action you see on this level, okay? And again, you have an imbalance here. If you are doing institutional trading, you have an imbalance right here. And that imbalance is what is being taken here. Imbal you have a an imbalance, you also have a block order, okay? And that is what price uh, is taking right here. That is what prompted this move down, okay? So now let's say that you missed this one, you missed this set, but you saw price get here forming a trend line. You already ruled this channel, you start ruling it, okay? Every time price touches that trend line, expect some reaction. If you see on this trend line, if you see on a lower time frame, if you see a reversal, then you know that price will not break the trend line. Then you start buying. Then if you buy your stop losses below, okay? And your take profit, your take profit will be around the trend line when price get to the trend line. We also have an imbalance here. Okay, which price comes for? Okay, now the moment you see this engulfing candle or, or tweezer, okay, tweezer price action on the trend line, you know that price will fall. Okay, if you enter here, your stop loss above, your take profit will be around trend line here. Okay, your take profit will be around trend line here. Price did not get there, it went back and retest the trend line again down here. So with all these hours, you know this is for us. With all this, with all these hours of movements here, you know that price cannot break this trend line. Then if you are selling your stop loss above, you remember you have a, a, a running trade here that has not hit your take profit around here, okay? You are maintaining the trade. Probably you see a good setup here, you enter sell again. Your take profit is on is here, right? As at this level, it has hit. Your new entry may be the trend line right here. You are expecting it at least to hit the trend line around here. And if you look your back, your left rather, if you look your left, you will see where you probably need to put a uh, a take profit. This is a resistance here, support level here, resistance here. So now, if you are selling, if 
you are selling right here, you know that your take profit, okay, see, see your, that means you will not be waiting till you get to this because of the previous support and resistance you have with, with this line. So you will have taken your profit right here. So it will have hit your take profit before went back to retail. And by the time you see all the four hours movements, all the movements here for four on four hours time frame is to tell you that no, this cannot be broken. And you now see this price action of engulfing candle. You get an entry here selling. So your take profit one will be around here. Your take profit two will be here on this second support. Now, how do we get this support? Are you are you following? Can I ask something before you continue? Okay. Yes, you said um, there by the trend line up there, there's an engulfing that gives you the confirmation to make a sell, isn't it? On eight, on this on H four. Yeah. Yes. So when you go to a smaller time frame, if H four is showing the engulfing, which means for a second confirmation, you must still go to the smaller time frame to get another reversal candle, or how does it work? Oh yeah. Yes, it's um, your entry is usually based on lower time frame. Like uh, somebody came to my office yesterday, and mm. so he was, you know, talking about time frame. He was asking me about uh, time frame, and I was telling the person that time frame does not really, really, it's not really your main focus in the market. Time frame is just for you to determine when market is strongly buying and when market is strongly selling and again it now determines your entry points so time frame does not really determine your strategy it is your strategy that determines the time frame that it works on your 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 strategy is built on certain time frame like to get your entry and to get your exit okay so now mm. Let's say we are using four hours now. Let's say you get into the market and you probably have been waiting and see, let's say you, your, your strategy is based on four hours, like you are a day trader. Let's say you are a day trader or you are an intraday trader. If you are an intraday trader, I believe everyone should know types of traders, scalpers, intraday trader, uh, day traders, swing traders, positioning traders. So. I believe that this is an advanced class. I'm expecting everyone to know that. Am yeah. I correct? Do you all yeah. know that? Yes, sir. Oh, that's, yes, great. Yes. That's, that's great. That's yes. great. So an intraday trader would probably trade with, build his own strategy on for us. Okay. I'm like, we waiting on this trend line now. He might be waiting and waiting to see uh, this setup, to see this uh, engulfing can do. To see this engulfing can do. Okay, after seeing it, you sell, and uh, for a swing trade, normally uh, intraday trader want to swing a little bit. Okay, put stop loss here, and take profit here. Hold on, take profit here. Just. Okay, so once he sees this, now he's taking a cell from here, a cell right here, stop loss right here. Now, take profit will be right here. Take profit one will be right here. And remember the first strategy I taught you, your take profit and stop loss entries. Strategy with weak matter, right? Do you all remember? Yes, we still remember. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So 
your take profit will be right here on the body for this lower low. I told you lower low, if you are targeting lower low, your take profit will be what? If you are selling, your target will be on the body, not on the week, because the week is actually the last straw. Like if I'm selling here now, my first take profit will be right here in the body. Not here. Because this is the last row. But if I'm buying, my first day profit will be on the last row, not on the body. Okay. I hope that is clear. All right. So now your first day profit will be here at this level. And second day profit, let's say you are selling now, second day profit will be right here, down here on this support level. Now, let me show you why. Let me show you why we have uh, this. Also, can, yeah. Can I can I ask something before you continue? Okay. Okay. Uh, on the previous class, you said the first TP is based on the body, then the second TP is based on the week. So I just want to know that um, procedure is it applying to both buying and selling, or is it only for selling? Okay, actually, I didn't say your buy is, ba is uh, based on body and uh, your selling, I mean, your selling based on body and your buying based on the week. No, that's oh. not what I said. What I said is that if you are buying, mm. you are buying here now. Let's say you are buying from here. Mm -hmm. You enter buy here. Your stop loss is down here. Your entry is up here. You are targeting. Remember, this is impulse, correction, continuation, correction, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's say this is an uptrend. So that makes this a higher high, right? Yes. And this is a higher low. Right? Higher low, higher high. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now if you are buying here, your target will be on the body for this higher high. If you are targeting higher high, and again, if it is if it is um, higher low, you are I mean lower high, you are targeting as, as well. In as much as you are buying, you are targeting lower high. Your let's look at this this way. Here, impulse correction, continuation, correction, continuation, correction, continuation. Then we got a trend line. Price breaks it, retest, start to form its own. Impulse correction continuation. Now you take a buy here. You have some weeks here. You are targeting what you will target is what is the body for this low for the higher higher high. Meanwhile, you also if you are targeting the lower or higher low here, what you are going to target is the week, not the body. Does that make sense? Okay. You are buying here. Okay, let me do it this way. Uh, it's as if I'm repeating the class we took last week. And I was asking, do you understand? You all said you understand. Okay. Now, you are buying here. Let me see an example I can use. Okay, let me squeeze this so that it can be well understood. Okay, now you get it correctly here now. You are buying here, entry, stop loss. Now, as you buy here, enter by. 
you know this is a support this is lower low impulse correction cor continuation correction continuation you are buying so your target is not going to be on the body here it's not going to be on the body rather it will be on the week but if you are tight if you if you if it has passed this level now If it has passed this level, let's say price has gotten here now, and you want to, you want to continue to hold the buy because you didn't take profit here. Let's say you didn't take profit here, and it breaks this resistance, then your target will be this one again, this lower low. That lower low, you are not going to target the body. You will target the weak. Okay, and let's say price also comes. Let's say you have taken some profits, but you still have another position running. Okay. And you are targeting TP. Maybe this is TP1, TP2. So I didn't say TP1 will target the body, TP2 will target the week. No. If you are buying whether TP1 or TP2, you are targeting lower low, it must be on the week. If you are targeting the lower high or the higher high, it must be on the body. So if you are coming from down now, let's say it has passed this level, now it has passed this resistance, and you are targeting this place. You are not going to target the weak. Rather, you will target the body. The body, this is the body. This is the weak. This is the body. This is the weak. This is the body. This uh, the body. This is the weak. I'm just showing you bodies and weak so that you can understand the difference between the body and the week that I'm talking about. This is the body. This is the week. This is the body. This is the week. This is the body. This is the week. You get that? So now, yeah. if you are buying from here, you hold it, it has passed all this resistance, and you want to take your take profit here. It's not going to be on the week. It's going to be right there on that body. So you target this body. And that's why most of my TPs will hit before, before uh, the spike. If there's a good setup, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So do you understand it now? So if you have impulse correction, continuation, correction, continuation, correction, continuation, then we have this coming down. Correction, continuation, correction, continuation. Now, if you are buying from here, your target here, if you are targeting this level, it will be what the body, not the weak. But if you are taking in this level, which is the higher low, it must be on the week, not the body. Whether it's TP1 or TP2. Now, if you are selling, if your target is going to be the lower low, then it must be on the body, not the week. The reason is because you will get to the body before the week. And mostly, price will get to the body and reverse. Even if it's going to go up, if you discover uh, my trade will hit take profit one, spike down a little bit before continue. Hit take profit two, spike down a little bit before continue. Hit take profit three, spike down. So mostly it will get to the body and go back. If it's going to continue, it will go and do that retest before continuation. So does that make sense now? Do we all understand it? If, please, if you don't understand it, uh, I'm a good teacher and um, I'm always after my students understanding what I'm teaching them. So my, I'm a believer of there is no need to keep giving knowledge when it is then that knowledge is not understood. So I always make sure every bit of the topic I'm treating, my students understand it before I move forward. Okay, so do you understand? If you don't understand, kindly say now so that I can quickly there are many ways of explaining things. So I can explain it in another way for you to understand. Do you all understand now? Yeah, I yeah, know. So Please. can I Very well. can I narrow it down to say when selling, we target the previous candle body for our TP 
And then when buying, we target the previous week for our TB. Yes, but also, even if you are selling, even let me give you a practical example again. Even if you are selling, Okay, look here. Now let's say you are selling right here, stop loss above, and you want to target this TP here. Hmm? You okay, you want to target TP because now you have lower low here, right? Are we together? Can you hear me? Yes, please, sir. Okay, you have lower low here, lower, lower high. Please, L, L, lower low, and then lower high. You want to target this, but you realize that this. Higher high impulse correction continuation. This higher high <laughs> comes a, a little bit up before this. This one goes a little bit down than this. That is, if price is coming down, it will reach this level before this level. Right? So if you are targeting, if you want to target, then you if you want to target this higher high, if you are selling. Then you are targeting the weak. But okay. if you want to target the lower low, if you are selling, then you target the body. Okay, okay. 